Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 55. Reinforcement learning, or RL, is still not a widely used or accessible technology. A recent analysis by Gradient Flow of Fortune 1000 companies revealed that engagement in RL is in the early stages across all sectors compared to techniques like deep learning. Compared to traditional supervised and unsupervised learning methods, RL is much more difficult to implement and maintain. RL is good for use cases where the reward is delayed, which usually requires good simulators or a viable strategy for training offline with historical logs. Some Fortune 1000 companies are beginning to use RL and related tools in financial markets, security and asset management, chip design, and more. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 35 for more. A new post by J.P. Morgan Chase describes their use of knowledge graphs for risk assessment, fraud detection, and other mission-critical applications. A core problem is linking textual source mentions, such as company names, with entities in the knowledge graph. They propose a new neural entity linking model called JEL to generate entity embeddings and a wide and deep learning model to match character and semantic information. In testing, JEL achieved state-of-the-art performance for entity linking of company names in financial news. This methodology is usable by other enterprises. For more, see Gradient Flow Newsletter number 35. The online Data and AI Summit from May 24 to 28 offers keynotes from leading technologists, hands-on training, over 200 technical deep dives, and AMA sessions. Registration is free at databricks.com slash data AI summit. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com slash newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.